Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And thanks for checking me out. Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn how we're gonna how to make a standard fluid animation in Blender. So first off, we're gonna scale the cube by pressing S. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's go tab S and then tab again to get out of edit mode. Then we're going to press Shift D to duplicate it. Then press S, Z, and 0 0.3 to scale it. Then we're going to press G, Z, and move it closest to the floor as you can. Then we're going to add a icosphere. And you can see that my subdivisions are four. Uh, so now we're gonna go to the physics tab and press the large cube. And we're gonna go fluid and then domain. Fluid type domain. It, it, it might do that, it might not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. Then we're gonna press uh, this smaller cube and press fluid and then press fluid and then we're gonna go to the icosphere and press fluid and then obstacle so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little animation to the icosphere so it'll make the, the water move so we're gonna press I to set it and press location and move this however frames you want it slower faster or whatever right I'm gonna press G Z and then press I location or available either one works and then if you go back you'll see you got your own little animation right so now what we're gonna do is go to domain you can turn it a little higher if you want and then we're gonna set our viewport to final and then we're gonna bake it it this will take a while so see you when it's done so now after it's reached a hundred percent uh... It will, this little bar here will disappear and what we're gonna do is press H to make this thing disappear it won't delete it but it'll just disappear so now if you press play, should be your fluid animation should be ready. So to decorate it or make it look better a little bit, you can press a shade smooth, then go to here or the look dev, then change the material of the fluid. Fluid? Oh, yeah. You can use EV or uh or cycles, whichever one, but EV is much quicker. So then you'll add a light. Any any one will work. Any light will work. That's just enough. Then we'll go to material. Principle. Uh, no, we're not gonna press principle. We're gonna use a glass. And then uh, it might not. It might look like not not very well right now. It still might not right now, but if you go to here, screen space refraction, then then you go to the render settings, turn on turn on screen space reflections, then turn refraction on, then it should work, and you will be able to see the little this the little icosphere that we added in uh, as well through the glass. So now select. Icosphere. We're going to change the color by adding a new material and making it orange. Slightly orange. And you don't have to shade it smooth. It looks fine like that. Now, if you want, you can add a slight tinge of color here. 
and turn up the strength of your light as well as change the color of the background which is v very much recommended if you want you could just play with it this stuff even more if you want like turn up the roughness your faction depth You can see you can still see your little ball. And you've got your little standard animation. So the last thing we have to do now is set the camera to position. You can do that or you can press N. Go to view, press lock camera to view. Then just tweak around if you want you can tinker a little bit more with the uh, colors and that's it and then all you have the last thing you have to do is press render animation and you should be good to go the last thing you have to do is go here here press disable and renders and you'll be able to disable these items and renders. Press them. Uh, I don't know why I have two cubes, actually. I don't know. I'm not going to delete them because they might be important. But I don't think you should have two cubes there. But, I mean, still looks fine. So when you press this, it'll it won't, you won't see it in renders as well. But it is needed. And you can tinker it can tinker with it a little bit more I'll tinker that and then I'll show you the final product and once you're done with your final product you're gonna wanna play, press re uh, render and render animation or control F12 render animation um, you have to change it to PNG you can choose one of these honestly you don't ha I don't know what any of them mean so I just choose one randomly render animation uh, make sure to change where you want this to pop up oh. well I just it's a real mess here so it's all my stuff if you accept then once you press render render animation then it will render the animation I'll show you the final product once as soon as all the animation is rendered. One thing to keep in mind is that it it might not look perfect, but if you really do want it to make it look better, you could do it in cycles or you could turn up the resolution to make the water smoother. There are also subdivisions, but that's kind of messy. It doesn't always work very well. Now the render is done, so now what you have to do is go to files. go to the folder that you left it in really yeah large projects and then it should be here if you enjoyed like or subscribe or do both if you really liked it make sure to put your suggestions in the comments and I'll be sure to read them thanks for watching